Well, here we are with Lottie Harris. She's one of the first students at uh, Fairhaven School. Actually, it wasn't called Fairhaven back then, was it? What was it, what was it called back then? It was called Flint Number 2. Flint Number 2, okay. And she actually had a chance to do some, some uh, just like back in, what say, 1920s? When was this, when, when would this have been? No, 1930s. 1930s, okay, yeah. Started out in, in first grade and went on all the way through to sixth grade, yeah. Um, and all of her fam family went walking quite a ways <laughs> every morning it seems like miles yeah but we're gonna let her tell you her story how many teachers did they have at the school was just the just school? one it was it just one teacher then or, or? one teacher oh. one teacher eighth grade okay. okay the first teacher was henry salter okay that's the one that Vera started and she said she was the first kid that got okay my first teacher was zilda ford Okay. And a lady named Grace Hamilton. My mother would pack our lunch in a bag, you know, and then take turns carrying it across the, take turns. I wasn't supposed to take turns. Okay. Because I was the youngest. And uh, she had packed the lunch and had canned peaches and all kind of good things, you know, in there. And we got under the viaduct, and they were so, the older ones that were supposed to take turns carrying it. It was Sylvester's turn to take care. And Sylvester reneged down, <laughs> set the lunch down under the viaduct, mm. and left it there. Oh, boy. Somebody had a good lunch because people weren't afraid in those days to. Yeah. You know, they had home canned peaches and oh, wow. sandwiches, all kind of good stuff. And you guys went without that day, huh? That day. Uh, and uh, Vera says she remembers Sylvester crying, and the teacher told him, "Don't." Said, "Just shut up, don't cry, because you should have picked it up." And Ruby regrets the fact that she. Since I was the youngest, she should have taken my part out, and <laughs> yeah. her part out. Yeah. And so we went on a lot of lunch that day. Somebody, I remember somebody giving me a bean sandwich. Wow. Describe <laughs> what the school was was like. What was the school like? The size of the school. Yeah. You know where North Street Church was? Um, I, I think I've been past it like one or It's on the corner of... Uh, North and Gillespie. Okay. Okay. There was a lot, there were temporary buildings that they, during World War II. Okay. What was World War II or what? Probably, yeah. Uh, temporary buildings in the church purchased. And we worshiped downstairs on Sabbath. But we worshipped. We had school upstairs. Okay. And I think about it now. How we had to go in that to go to the restroom. We had to go downstairs mm. under the first floor. Oh. Wow. And had the bath. Use the bathroom. Okay. It scared the wits out of me now. <laughs> Now, was it a real bathroom or was it like an outhouse or just a... Just no, a... it was a bathroom okay. and it was, a temp it was what they call a temporary building. Okay. And uh, the ladies in the church used to, did all kind of handiwork and stuff down in that basement. Mm -hmm. uh, I shudder to think about it now. <laughs> But it was a girl's bathroom and a boy's bathroom. Okay, okay. And so what was it like inside the classroom? What was the size of the classroom? What was it like inside the classroom? How, how did it look? Yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, okay. The bolted to the floor or like separate ones? You... It was wooden floor. Okay. But did you bolt the desk, to, was the desk fastened to the floor or they were like separate and you can move them around? Yes, yes they okay. were fastened to the floor. Okay. And you know the kind of desk that lift the top? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You've seen them in um, old movies. Yeah, yeah. And you, did you write with like those little ink pens kind of things? Or, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, first grade was on, on, on the left side, I remember that. Mm -hmm. And then it went on to the eighth grade. Okay. I remember Parkland School was on the corner of North Street. Okay. They used to walk through our yard okay. and, and, and bully us. Uh -huh. Public school. Okay. So uh, this teacher, Miss Ford, decided that she was going to stop the bullying. So we had big snows in those days. And she had us make a, a Ford light. And those kids from Parkland came to, and we were, and she had us ready for, and they, what do you call it? Like snowballs? Bombarded, okay. <laughs> bombarded those, those Parkland, those Ford. They made fun of us, you know, yeah. the little school, you know, little, little church school. And they bombarded, they never bothered us again. <laughs> You threw snow at them? Yeah, she, she, they were ready for it. We were yeah. ready for it. <laughs> That's yeah. one thing. Yeah. That's Vera on the far right? Vera, you can tell Vera? Yeah, I think so. Vera through all, all the... <laughs> Black Beauty. <laughs> okay, 1940. Okay. I think 48, this is when you graduated high school. Mm -hmm. So probably. That's Joey Johnson. Okay. Pete, Pete Ernest, Ernest. Okay. Okay. So, so this yeah. is a speech that you did? This is a speech that I did when I was six years old. Oh, okay. And I, I remember part of it. I was reciting it. Oh, okay. So, go ahead and say the parts that you remember right now, if you can. Great, wide, beautiful, wonderful world with the wonderful waters around me curl. The wonderful air is over me, the wonderful wind is shaking the tree. It walks on the waters and whirls the mills and talks to itself on top of the hill. There's a part of part you remember. You friendly earth, how far do you go? With wheat fields and not and rivers that flow, with gardens and cities and cliffs and isles, and people upon you for thousands of miles. This is the part I remember. Ah, oh, you are so great and I am so small. I tremble to think of you, world, at all. And yet, when I said my prayer today, a whisper within me seemed to say, you are more than the word earth. You are such a dot. You can love and think and the world cannot. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> This, wow. this is the part that I, I was six years old. Wow. But that, that, that stands out in my mind that she used the church school to let the community know what was doing, what we were doing. Mm -hmm. Her father was the pastor. Oh, okay. Elder W.D. Ford. Yes. How old was she, do you think, at the time? How old was he at the time? No, was she? Was the teacher teacher? How, how old a person was she? The, the, you know, I, I don't know. She was young and vital. Um, in her 20s, maybe? I'm sure she was in her 30s. Okay. She taught school in, in New York and so forth, like that, after she left. Mm -hmm. She told uh, Vera, she ended up in, the, in Chicago, and she told Vera that that was the smartest group of children that she'd ever taught. That's nice. Did I appreciate the time? Yeah. Yes, because I loved church school. 
I wanted to, I wanted my wish was I, that I could graduate in eighth grade. That was a big deal, biggie. That in the graduating in eighth grade, the church made a production of it. Mm -hmm. And I miss my eighth grade graduation because we had moved in the country. And I had to take the bus to my horse. And I went there from seven to high school, seventh okay. grade to high school. Okay. Now, if, if you had to tell somebody, what was the best thing about being in a church school? The connection between the church and the school. It was a part of it. It was part of our everyday life. Mm -hmm. I remember the songs we sang, the things that we learned. The, most of them were Bible-based. I looked at some of the curriculum. Now, in the schools, and it's it's different. Mm -hmm. I couldn't forget my early learning. I could. I remember carrying over some of the things that. I had learned in church school carrying it over into my classroom in public school. Yes, part of my family. Mm -hmm. One of my best friends was Lula Phillips, Bill Miller. Mm -hmm. Oh, significantly. This teacher that was community oriented skipped us from first to third grade. Wow. I never did a second grade. And Lula and I were friends through the years, you know. They were always our friends, you know. Mm -hmm. We were a family. Yeah. I don't know if you picked that up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I did, yeah. yeah we were yeah. a family. No, it was a given that you were going to vote. Okay. I don't really know how, what it costs. Mm -hmm. They were committed. Like I said, Eighth grade was a biggie. Eighth grade was almost like high school. You know, you accomplished something when you did eighth grade. It wasn't wholly... Uh, Adventist? What? Oh, it wasn't all Adventist? No. Okay. There were people in the community had buyers. Mm -hmm. But it was mostly, mostly Adventist, so mm -hmm. it was a small school, but it was, it was fo focused on true education, which is a true education reader mm -hmm. that we had. Well. I got a primer in the house that the reading the reading course goes along with the Bible. I'm sure you found that out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, unawares, I thought I might have me wildly. They say the master's coming to honor the town today and none can tell what house or home the master might choose to say. And I thought about my heart read wildly. What if he should come to mind? How would I entertain and honor this guest divine? Straightway I turned to toiling to make my house more neat. I swept and polished and garnished and decked it with blossoms sweet. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a long poem. 
Yeah. It's a long quote. Yeah, yeah, and you, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. you remember what grade you were in when you had to do that one? Was that what? Do you remember what grade you were in when you learned that one? I don't know. You know, we learned it. What we did, we learned everybody's learning. Oh, okay. Some, some, some different grades, <laughs> yeah. One 